need to come outside? It's really nice. It's nowhere near as hot as it was the other day, is it? Of course, it's still early morning. The grass is still wet. Somebody's enjoying crunchy wet grass. So she can throw it up later. So she will stay, obviously, on the porch for a while. So if she throws up, she throws it up on the porch. And it's really, really, really super nice out. It's nice and cool. I need to fill the bird feeders. Hopefully I can do it without getting stung this time. So she has lots of birds to watch. And we got our garden project finished. We got the soaker hoe. Well, mostly finished. I still need to bury those. But that might wait till we have some nice cool, cool days. But the soaker hoses are in. And it's been about five days since the last video. And we have some stuff coming up. This is just cover crop. The, the stuff that's coming up right now is just, um, like I think this is red clover in these beds. This and over here, we've got some some more beans. These are pole beans. They're not doing so great. I planted them several weeks ago, but they got too hot and dry. Hopefully the soaker hoses will help. And there is, uh, I think it's more red clover. And the peanuts are doing wonderful. I don't, I mean, the plants look great. I don't know if we're going to actually get any peanuts out of them. The cover crop over here is foraging collard forage or something like that. Maybe they're collards. There are peas planted along the fence here. And some radishes on the end. Uh, I don't believe the radishes are coming up yet. I think what we see here is maybe some mustard I threw out too far, but it may not be. It may be, may be some... Maybe some radishes. Let's see if we can find Milo. But the, those beds over there, I just threw cover crop out on. I'm not, I'm not fall gardening every bed, are we? Let me think. Over here, we've got none of it's coming up yet, and I don't remember which side I did which on. We'll see what comes up. One side of this bed is broccoli, and the other side is onions. Honestly, I don't remember, but that'll be obvious when it comes up. And I put spinach in this bed. This was the zinnias. And I didn't see them yesterday, but look, there's a spinach. Um, so we are practicing the ch what they call the chop and drop method in our beds. So it's pretty much kind of mulching in place. So as things die off, as long as they're not diseased or have too many pests, you chop them small, drop them back down in the bed, and they become mulch. And it'll turn into compost. So that's what we've done where the zinnias were and the marigolds. Um, over here, I don't remember what this is. I, it's either rutabaga or cauliflower. Uh, I honestly think it's rutabaga, but I don't remember. But it looks like we got three of them. They were old seeds I put in just to see what happened. But the rest of the bed here has uh, beets. And then we still have this cherry tomato. Looks like we got tomatoes to be picked. And here is some more beans, a few a couple of peanuts. Planted those a few weeks ago. And I put carrot seeds in here. So... We'll see what we get. I've never really tried to do fall gardening much. So we're going to give this a shot. I was just planning on cover cropping and not doing anything with it. But what the heck, let's see if we can get a little bit more out of it. We got a great crop of carrots this year. Got some beets. A um, few onions. Our garlic great look good. That reminds me I'm going to put garlic in. I don't remember what bed I was thinking about putting it in, but it's too early still for that. It's beautiful out here. Milo, see all these tunnels? We've got a mole. You think you could find him? we got a mole in here. We do. Cover crop on this side looks wonderful. Look at that. 
Um, this is all morning glories. There's some beans mixed in there. I haven't pulled those down yet because the morning glories are still flowering. And what beans are in here, I'm using going to use for dried beans. Right now it's kind of hard to find them amongst the morning glories. There's not much. Here's one. I think those are red ripper peas is really what they are. But here's another one. I don't know if it'll be enough to get to be worth anything, but I want them for drying beans. So we're just going to leave that. Do you hear that bird, Milo? Do you hear him? What do you think? What's going on? Kind of wet out here this morning, isn't it? Oh, we are so ready for cool weather. Not cold. Not cold. Don't get me wrong. I hate winter. <laughs> but some nice cool weather would be nice. Oh, yes, I dug up out of where the squash beds were. These are the big ones. I don't know where I'm going to. I guess I'm going to store them in the basement. They're not going to fit in the, in the little shed. You eating grass. And our experiment with planting clover in here sort of has worked. We also ended up with a lot of grass. But the clover for ground cover is coming up. I think we're going to have to seed it again. It looked really bad there for a while. But it's cooling down. If we get some rain, it's going to come back. We have to throw some more seeds in here pretty soon. Wait till it starts getting a little, staying a little wetter. And we'll do it again in the spring. Milo. What are you doing, pretty girl? She goes, I love outside when it's nice. She said the other day when we were trying to work out here, it was just too hot. Eating the grass. How much she eats and how much she just chews on it. You just do a lot of chewing on it, don't you? This was the first year that we planted this garden. And I'm pretty happy with the way it's turning out. We've still got some some tweaking to do. We'll get it we'll get it worked out. Kinda hard to garden when you're not home. Isn't it, Milo? Kinda hard to keep a garden going good. We have to do kind of self sufficient gardening. It needs to kinda take care of itself. But it's it's going. We're getting there. I think our soaker hoses on, on timers for next summer is going to do a lot better. I think this year what got us, we can get nowhere near as much squash as we'd like. Some of the other stuff, the beans didn't do very good. But I think that was mostly the heat because we had an unusual hot winter or hot summer. Mostly the heat and mostly how dry it was because it was so dry. I'm leaving these giant sunflowers in, in here even though they're just about done. Letting the birds get the sunflower seeds. And if these pole beans would ever really start growing, I was planning on letting the pole beans use these sunflowers for trellis, but they're not, they're not doing as, as good as I would have liked. But I tried planting them when it was still hot and dry, and I, they didn't get enough water. My goodness. That sounds like a hawk. We have. Is it a hawk? Is something after you? You know, there's a mole out here somewhere. I wish you or Cinder or Soot would get him because he's kind of tearing stuff up. We have hawks. We've got red tail hawks. I saw one sitting on the fence for the garden the other day. He said he was a big one. There's a little fence. There's a little. You see him? You see that little bird? There's a little bird up there. Can't see him in the camera because of the sun, but boy, Milo sees him. You see that little bird? There he went. Yeah. Yeah, that's the hawk. Hawk's hollering. I saw our two little our two little deer babies this morning. They come flying out of the woods. I think the farmer behind us must have been doing something in his in his field because it sounded like big equipment and they came running out of the forest or the woods we don't really have forest um and startled me i turned around all suddenly and 
asked them what they were doing, and they stopped and looked at me and listened to me talk for a little while before they went back and went into the woods in a different area. I haven't seen the mama deer anymore. We've had the same mama deer in our property since we've lived here. She has two, two fawns every year. I didn't see her. I haven't seen her in a while. But I've been seeing the fawns. I sure hope nothing got her. Or she didn't get hit by a car somewhere. But the fawns, they look like they're doing pretty good. They are they look healthy. Just about lost all their spots now. They're real thin, but they're, they're, they're young. They didn't look like unhealthy thin. So she could just be hanging out in the woods, but I'm not real optimistic because I and we haven't seen her in a, in a while. But we've been here for, I don't know how long deer live, but we've been here for, gosh, seven years, six, seven years now. And we've been seeing, I'm pretty sure it's the same doe with fawns every year since we've lived here. So, you know, I don't, like I said, I don't know how long they live. Something could have got her. She could have got sick. Could have got hit by a car. She might be in the woods, but it's unusual not to see her at all. What do you think, my little cat? Soot and Cinder were waiting for breakfast on me this morning. They stay in the greenhouse and keep the butt, keep the mice out of there, and they go hunt mice out of the field. Just It's been to the hot collar again. Their field here, it used to be a pasture, I think, at some point. It's just, we just kind of let nature take over. I've been trying to get some wildflowers started out there, but it's not going so well. What do you see? Huh? What's it smell like? What's it smell like? Oh, we're doing some sniffs. Getting some sniffs in, huh? I've got a lot of a lot of running around I gotta do this weekend or today. Milo will be staying home with our son, but we are going to the lake. Me and my husband and our and camping for the weekend, Labor Day weekend. My son's gotta work. So he's not going with this one. Well, he's twenty. He doesn't really want to hang out with mom and dad. Um He's got some stuff he wants to do, but he's going to be taking care of Miss Milo. Because we have, we're camping, but we have, it's an event we're going to also, and I don't think it would be a good place for Milo to go. So she'll be staying here. Are you just going to hang out now? Just gonna hang out? I was gonna sit in the chairs, but they're sopping wet. There they are. I left the sunflower roots to decompose in the ground. These sunflowers that were in this bed were so big, I had to use a chainsaw to cut them down. I got a little mini battery powered chainsaw. I dug one out, it took a lot of dirt with it, and it was not easy. So I opted to just cut them down. We'll let the roots decompose in the ground. Add to our organic matter. And do as much sustainable, self-reliant gardening as possible. Reusing the plant matter. Oh my goodness, Miss Kitty Cat. What are you doing? Hey. Hi! Hi, pretty girl! Pretty, pretty kitty cat. Well, so Milo's gonna get some sunshine time in. Then I've got stuff to do. You guys all have a good day, and we will talk to you again on Monday.